Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at text, labels, and shapes. Once you've logged into your digital signage solution, you'll be redirected to the home page. From here, we want to click on the New Creative tab because we're making a new creative. I can then choose to use one of the existing templates where I can edit the content within it, or I can start with a blank page. For this video, we're going to use a blank page, so I'm going to click once on the plus symbol. It's now created a new creative for me. On the left hand side are my widgets, and this is how we're going to bring in our content. In the middle is our canvas, and this is what we will see when we publish it to the digital signage screen. On the right hand side are our settings, and the settings will change depending on which widget we're on. At the moment, we're on the default setting, so for the actual creative itself, and the first thing I want to do is rename it. So I'm just going to call this one labels and shapes. Now I can set up my creative to the correct size and orientation I would like it. So I can change the aspect ratio. I can change the screen resolution by simply clicking on and then adjusting the figures. So I can either over type or use the up and down arrow. I can change using percentages to pixels and I can change the screen orientation from landscape to portrait. And if I continue down to appearance, we can change the background. So the background will sit at the very back of our creative and all of our widgets will sit on top of it. To change the background, simply click on the drop down menu. I can then choose one of the royalty free backgrounds supplied by Unsplash, or I can use a pre-made solid color or click the plus symbol. And I can choose from the color palette, use a color hex code. I can change the transparency and I can add a gradient if I wish to do so. But for this training video, we are going to use this background here. So I've clicked it once, it's got a tick on it. We can now see it on our canvas and I'm simply gonna click OK. So the first thing we want to do now is add some text. So if I move over to the left-hand side, we can now click on the text and it will then automatically add the widget to the middle of the screen. If I just delete that by going to the very top and clicking on the delete button, Alternatively, I can left click and I can now drag it on to my canvas and position it where I would like it to be. To resize the widget, move your cursor to a side or to a corner until you see the cursor change to two arrows. Press and hold your mouse button down and then I can simply drag it across my canvas to make the correct size I would like. Now that I have the widget the correct size, I can simply click inside the widget and I can either start typing or I can simply paste my content that I would like displayed within the widget. I'm just gonna resize that ever so slightly. There we go. So as we can see, my text is a little bit too big for the area I would like to use. So all I need to do is highlight all of my text and immediately, as soon as I touch within it, we have some options. The first option I have is I can now change to a different font. I can upload a new font. I can change the size. So I'm going to make these a little bit smaller. There we go. Now that I've got them all in there, I'm just going to add it all to the same size. So we'll have that at 24. I can change the color of my font by using the color palette, or I can use the color hex code. I can change it to italic, bold or underlined, and I can change the alignment as well. So as you can see, very quickly and easily, we're starting to build up our content. So within the text, once we've got our text in place, we can then look at creating a label. But before I add a label, I'm gonna add a shape. So if I come over to the left-hand side to my widgets, there's my shape widget, and I'm gonna drag by pressing and holding my mouse button down, and I'm simply gonna let go of it within my canvas. I'm gonna stretch that across. If I want to change the type of shape, make sure it's highlighted so we can see it is by the boxes around it. I can now move over to my settings on the right hand side. From the drop down box, I could change the shape I want to use. If I move down, I can now choose to change the color. So I'm gonna go for a light blue. So I'm gonna use the color palette. I could use the color hex code and I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna make it a little bit more transparent. 
and I think I will add a gradient to it as well. So go back to the blue, make it transparent. There we go. Over the slightly, I'm now going to click OK. So we can use shapes to actually highlight certain items. So I've added my text, I've added a shape, and now I'm going to add my label. So if I come over to the left hand side and under the general tab, we will find our label. Again, I can either click it once and it will appear in the middle of my canvas or I can drag it and I'm going to place it on top of my shape. I can now stretch that out so it's a little bit bigger. And again, very similar to the text, we can just start typing. But you would notice on the right hand side here, if I change the option, so instead of them opening above, they're actually appearing on the right hand side. So if I change my font, and I now I'm going to change the color, you will notice I haven't had to highlight it this time. It will automatically change. So any changes we make to labels, it will apply to all of the text. We don't have to highlight it. So if I change it to 14, it will make it smaller or I can make it slightly larger. If I wanted to, I can also use Giffany text. So if I click on Giffany, it will then generate some animated text for me. So I'm going to expand that. School, click generate text, and it's now going to change it for me. I can then either load more options or I can click on the plus symbol, highlight this is the one I want to use, and I can then click add. It will now bring in the Giffany text where we had our standard text. So as you can see, we can use shapes as borders, maybe to have a square and then add an image on top of it, just to really highlight certain areas of the screen. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video on text, shapes and labels. Thank you for your time.